Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope you're having a great start to your weekend. Um, so this week's newsletter, we're gonna talk a little bit about Denali uh, because that's after Fairbanks area, we head down to Denali to the National Park um, and we get to stay there for a couple of nights. So we get to um, settle in, if you will, uh, once we get there. So I've got a little bit of information on Denali. You can click on the Denali Visitor Center. That'll take you over to their uh, website. I also have a lovely video on the Heartbeats of Alaska um, or Denali and if you click on that video it's about almost 20 minutes long so it is a little lengthy but I think in the next week as I'm making dinner one night I'm going to prop that little video up on my kitchen counter uh, and watch it and listen to the music because the music is lovely so um, you certainly do not have to watch it but it's just the images are beautiful it really gives you a taste of some of what we're going to see when we're in Alaska so I thought I'd share that with you I also have a book listed there that um, if you are a reader or like to read up on where we're traveling to um, this is the wilderness of Denali I believe when I read it last uh, before I went on my last trip um, I got it at the Kakana Public Library but you can check out your own personal library wherever you're at um, to see if they have it you certainly don't have to read it but just a book suggestion for everybody um, the other item when we are in Denali on the 25th of July so it's um, the day after we arrive um, on your little Holland America app there are some excursions that you can choose um, so the excursions I just want to touch on, these are completely optional. You do not have to do any excursion at all, <laughs> um, off the boat or otherwise. I mean, you can just literally, like when we're in the cruise ports, you can get off the in Ketchikan and just walk around the town. It's very walkable. All of these cities are. Um, so you do not need to do any extra excursions beyond the trip that we've got booked. However, um, there are fun op optional excursions that you might want to sign up for that give you an even more in-depth experience into the different ports of call. And Denali is actually one of them. So if we do have the Tundra Wilderness tour included, so you don't have to worry about that. We're definitely getting a tour into the park and it's an important one. It's a good one. So that one is great. But if you want to do some more adventures, if you will, um, for instance, um, if you're into ATVs, you might want to take an ATV ride when we're in Denali. Um, I did have some people do that when we were there, were there, and I, per their uh, feedback, they are avid ATV riders here in Wisconsin. So they drive, the, they do their ATV riding around here a lot. Um, they did the one in Denali, and while they thought it was good, they didn't think it was great, and it's more so because they do it a lot here in Wisconsin. So um, that's the ATV feedback I have uh, for those of you considering it. Now, I don't, I don't have an ATV, nor do I drive one around, so I would think that was super fun. <laughs> I think I would enjoy it thoroughly. Um, the few times that I do it here in Wisconsin when I can with my friends, um, it's I love doing that. So, however, I think, and I haven't read through, I'm going to be reading these through these with one of the travelers I'm um, heading on another trip with soon, but there's an evening hike, um, Oxbow Loop to Trail that I'm considering. Um, so it's an evening hike, uh, and I like walking. I like going on trails and um, exploring and, and doing that kind of thing. That's just my own personal preference. So that's, I'm after I talk with my um, aunt who's traveling with us, um, I'm possibly going to sign up for that tour. We all have different interests. And so as I walk through each of these um, little Oh my gosh, destinations, and I'll talk about a little bit about the excursions. You guys can do whatever your heart's desires because you might have a completely different interest than what I have. Um, hiking on a trail might sound horrible to you, <laughs> but to me, I, I that's an experience that I enjoy. So um, I can't really you know, navigating these excursions, I would encourage you to take the time, read through them. Um, if there's something that you're seeing that might be sold out, that could change. So keep checking back. I will be sharing in an upcoming newsletter another company that does excursions. Uh, so you have other options in Ketchikan, Juno, and um, Skagway. Uh, but my first preference is always with the cruise line. So if you can book with the cruise lines, that's always my first preference. So um, 
they're well done. They, they do an exceptional job. So uh, yeah, so excursions, take your time. I know there's a lot of them. Like I said, you don't have to do any, but enjoy. I would say if you can, and some of you already are, have this all figured out, so no worries, but you know, maybe take, okay, tonight we're going to look at Denali and, and whomever you're traveling with, sit down and take a look at Denali and what they have to offer and make decisions just one at a time. Don't don't get overwhelmed by it, <laughs> by any means. Just take one little one little destination at a time and and have fun reading through them. Some of them are very similar, so you might be overwhelmed by how many they offer. But some of them are really uh, very very similar. So the other one in Denali that I did have someone do that still has space available was the Denali Summit Flight. So it's it's a bit pricey, but they did take. Um, where they fly up around an alley. So that was an exception. That was a highlight for somebody. So if you want to spend the money to be able to, to fly um, around the mountain, that would be uh, one I would suggest you to sign up for. But okay, so I'm probably going to hike though, you guys, or, or maybe I won't do anything. <laughs> So anyway, that is Denali. The other items I have in the newsletter this week is, um, okay, questions are coming in, which thank you. I love getting questions. So keep them coming. Um, and email is great because then I have time to answer them to you in a, an email format back, and then I can share them on the newsletter. So somebody asked about the hotel list. So where are we staying in Fairbanks, Anchorage, Denali? And so I have a list there. You can click on the name of the hotel and it'll whisk you off to their website if you wanna check them out. Um, in Denali, you may have gotten an email already from Holland America asking if you wanna upgrade your hotel room. We are all in standard rooms, uh, so that's optional. If you wanna upgrade, great. If not, no worries. Um, if you are inclined to want to consider that um, I, and you didn't get the email, just let me know and I can send you the, the information um, on the cost because it, there is a cost involved and what's included. And then they do a sort of side-by-side -side chart on, on what's included. So you can let me know on that. Otherwise, we're all in standard rooms and that's totally fine. That's where I'm staying. <laughs> Anyway, the other item I have on there is TSA PreCheck. I did send out the uh, email with regards to asking for those that are do doing the group air what your seat preference is. Um, also, if you have TSA PreCheck, I'd like to have that so I can get that on your record. If you don't have TSA PreCheck, I would encourage you to get it. Um, if you're a traveler, it's well worth it. It saves you so much time in the domestic airports. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to have. So um, you do not have to do it but it's a travel uh, tidbit or tip that I would love to share with you and um, I think it's well worth it if you travel. <sighs> that was a lot. I think I'll stop talking now. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Keep me posted on questions and I will see you next Friday. Bye.